A particle A of mass 3m and a particle B of mass m are moving along the same straight line on a smooth horizontal surface. The particles are moving in opposite directions towards each other when they collide directly. Immediately before the collision, the speed of A is KU and the speed of B is U. Immediately after the collision, the speed of A is V and the speed of B is 2V. So let's have a picture of that situation. So this is the before picture and we have the particle A here, which has a mass of 3m, and particle B here, which has a mass of m, and this one is moving with a speed ku, and this one with a speed u. Then we're going to have the after picture. So here's A of mass 3m, and it's moving with a speed v. We don't know which way. It could be going this way or this way. And in fact, it doesn't matter for the first part of the question. When we look at B, which has a mass of m, the speed is 2v, and that must be going to the right, because to be going to the left, A and B would have had to have gone through each other, and that's actually not possible. The magnitude of the impulse received by B in the collision is 3 over 2 mu. In part A, we want to find V in terms of U only. Well, we know that I is equal to mV minus mu. So 3 over 2 mu is equal to, and remember, we only need to look at B. So that's going to be 2mv minus m negative u. That's taking the direction to the right as being positive. So 2mv is the momentum after and m negative u is the momentum before. So we have 3 over 2 mu is equal to 2 mv plus mu. And we can cancel all the m's here. And so we have 3 over 2 u is equal to 2v plus u. That gives us 2v is equal to a half of u. That's 3 over 2u take away u. And therefore v is going to be 1 quarter u or u over 4. Find the two possible values of k. And that relates to the fact that this could be in either direction. So that's important now. And we're going to use the conservation of linear momentum. So, if we take the situation where after the collision we're moving to the left, momentum before is 3m k u take away m u and momentum after is going to be 2 m v take away 3 m v remember we're taking the right as the positive direction so that gives us, let's first of all get rid of the m's throughout, 3ku take away u is equal to twice. Now we know from the first part of the question that v is a quarter u. So that's going to be u over 4 take away 3u over 4. 
So 3KU take away U is equal to negative U on 4. That gives us 3KU is equal to U plus negative U on 4, or U take away U on 4, which is 3U on 4. And therefore we can cancel K's, we can cancel U's, and we get K is 1 quarter. Now we also want the situation where V goes in the other direction. So in this case, the linear momentum will give us 3MKU take away MU is 3MV plus 2MV. Uh, so this time, this is a plus as opposed to the minus that we had here because it's going in the other direction. So we have 3MKU minus MU is 3m u over 4 plus 2m u on 4. And we can get rid of the m's throughout as we did last time. And we can also get rid of the u's throughout now. So this has just become 1. And that's a 1. And that's a 1. And so 3k take away 1 would be three quarters plus two quarters. So three K would be equal to five over four plus four over four. That's taking the one over to the other side. Three K equals nine over four. And that gives me that K is equal to three quarters.